70 years ago, a small group of British businessmen traveled to China. They became known as the icebreakers. Now meet the bridge builders, the individuals continuing the icebreaker spirit to open up our world. Hello, my name is Sean Gibson. I'm a British singer-songwriter currently based in Beijing. I've lived in China now for on and off for about the last five years. About eight years ago now, I took my first trip to China and I went to Beijing, Shanghai, Hangzhou, Nanjing, Chongqing, Chengdu, Xi'an and then back to Beijing. It was whilst I was in Chengdu, I saw uh, a pipa player for the first time. And this made me really fascinated because I'd, I'd heard pipa before in in the UK, but it was always presented to me as an expression of history or like just an ancient instrument. But seeing that there in the shopping centre with a whole crowd of people around, I realised it's not only still part of modern Chinese culture, but it's still very, very popular. And I thought that is fascinating. So I became very, very inspired and I just wanted to start putting these kind of traditional Chinese instruments into my own music. My music career in China, well, actually kind of started off in the UK. I make music and I make videos because it enriches my life, but also I hope that I can make other people happy as well. And I hope that I can share uh, Chinese culture with my Western friends. Um, and things are going really well. You know, I'm getting invited to do more TV shows now and interviews like this. So more people are kind of getting to know me which is really exciting. Walking down this busy street where the lights turn way down low. I sing in Chinese and English because at the moment most of my followers are Chinese, so it makes sense to sing in Chinese, but also it gives me a deeper understanding of the culture as well. And I, I write in English as well because I still have this hope that one day uh, more of my Western friends can know my music. So by writing in different, in two different languages, it connects with different groups of people. And also, my Chinese followers also like to listen to my English songs because it can help them to practice their English. The first time I came here, I did have culture shock, but it wasn't the culture shock in the way that you'd kind of expect. I expected China to be totally different to the UK, like totally different. And actually when I arrived, I just felt familiar. It just felt like people are living their lives just normally. So I go to the park and I'd see people exercising, but it's just different types of exercises. So it made me realize actually people are just people. You know, I've come halfway around the world, but people are doing the same things. For me, the most inspiring thing in Chinese music is just how different it is to Western music because Western music is very rhythm based, it's very rhythmically based, very electronic now as well. So it's kind of digital and cool and fashionable and all of that. But it's lost that kind of heart and soul to some degree, I think. Traditional Chinese music is totally melody orientated and Western music is totally rhythmically orientated, so I think these two contrasts, when put together, are really, really fascinating. It creates something really fresh. I'm really big into this whole Zhong Guofeng kind of Chinese style inspired music because I think that to me sounds really fresh and a new. The environment here is perfect for making music videos. The kind of songs I write perfectly suit that kind of traditional, you know, the big um, forbidden city, the Tian Tan, the Heaven Temple and the parks and things like that, you know, the white fences and the red walls, things like that. It just totally suits my style. If we only treasure them all. China is one country that's full of so many different cultures that it's, it's almost like, you can say it's like more like 56 different countries in one country. It's amazing, it really is amazing. And British people don't know that. 
So I hope in the next 50 years or so that can, that can change. And I think the only way to do that sensibly is to integrate Chinese culture into Western culture slowly. You know, it's got to have relevance to people. So it's how do you combine Chinese and Western influences together to create something new, to create something that both parties can enjoy equally. We can share and realise that the human race is just that, it's the human race. We really need to start building bridges instead of walls and to focus a lot more on our similarities than our differences. So I'm writing uh, songs with Chinese influence, with Chinese instruments, I'm, I'm, I'm exploring, I'm experimenting, I'm trying something new, all in the hopes to build a bridge. And I think we definitely need more people doing that, a lot more people doing that, um, on both sides.